guys as the title suggests and in the intro to this video today we are doing a classic silver eyeshadow makeup look and we've already started with our eyebrows as per usual so i've just filled in my eyebrows because i barely have any and then now i'm going to go in with my usual uh you know the things that i always use which is the illegal pro Concel concealer and that is the shade fawn i've just put it at the back of my hand and then i've used it to define my eyebrows by applying it above and below the eyebrow and then after that i've just gone in with the rimmel um, eyebrow gel for the eyeshadow base or the eyeshadow primer i'm going to use the nyx photogenic concealer and i'm just going to use a brush to dab it all over my eyelid and then make sure that it's nice and smooth and you can easily go over it with like a beauty blender and then the first color that i'm going to apply for this silver uh for a classic silver eye is a black eyeshadow this is not a very black eyeshadow it has like undertones of gray and then i've just applied it to the outer corner of the eyelid alone and then i'm going to take a small angled brush and i'm going to take a very black the blackest black you can get and i'm just going to create a wing with it and then now for the center of the eyelid and also the upper part of that um next to the eyebrow i'm going to take a silver and call this more of a gun metal gray not really silver it was a gun metal gray uh, shade and i've just applied it like all over the center of the eyelid and i'm making sure to blend it in nicely and then for the inner corner of the eyelid i've gone with a silver eyeshadow whitish eyeshadow with some silver specks in it and make sure that you blend thoroughly as you can see this is not a cut crease uh, so we are going to make sure that everything blends into each other nicely otherwise it will create harsh lines make sure that there are no harsh lines that you can't really tell where the black is starting or where the gray is starting or where the white is starting and then afterwards i'm just applying a glitter glue so what you're seeing me apply at the center is a glitter glue and then i'm going to dab over that glitter glue some silver glitters so i've just applied the glitters only at the center of my eye you can easily apply the glitters like almost half the eye but i just decided to do the center of the eye and i've just cleaned up the wing using the same nyx concealer and then now i've just taken a black eyeliner and now i'm also using some mascara before i put on my lashes and the uh, mascara that i'm using is the maybelline colossal mascara and then before we put on our lashes i just want to clean up the area thoroughly you guys notice that maybe i had not cleaned up the top part of my brows so that's what i'm doing right now with a brush and then now we've just put on our lashes so now to prepare our skin for the makeup i'm just applying a setting powder first and uh, the setting powder that i'm using is the black opal setting powder and that's the shade medium so i'm just going to apply it all over my face and then now we're going to go in with my usual uh, primer that i've been loving nowadays which is by makeup revolution this is their uh, blur pore blur primer it's a blurring primer i absolutely love it and then now i want to do concealer first so i'm going to go in with this maybelline superstay concealer this is the shade honey and i'm just going to apply it in the areas that i want highlighted which is my under eyes the bridge of my nose and around my mouth and then now i'm also going to go in uh, again with another concealer just to apply uh next to the other very light concealer and this is the same illegal concealer that i used on my eyebrows that's the shade fawn and we're also going to do our nose contour at the same time before we start blending so as i those who follow me on this channel you know that i normally blend using a brush a flat brush first and then afterwards i use a beauty blender a damp beauty blender not just a normal dry beauty blender i feel like a damp one does the job better than a dry one i have used both there was a time i used to blend using a dry beauty blender so now i'm just going to apply and then for foundation i use the l'oreal true match foundation and that's the shade noisette i believe 8c um i've also put some setting powder under my eyes and then now we're gonna do our lips as you can see our eyes look really silvery and nice 
so for lips as usual i'm going to line my lips with a black lip liner and i always tell you guys if you're not ready to blend don't use a black lip liner use a brown lip liner and my favorite lipstick of late the maybelline uh vinyl lip polish is it lip polish or lip ink yeah and it's this is the shade royal so one thing i observed about this lipstick is that a lot comes on the out on the applicator so you don't have to dip your applicator twice a lot like i mean a lot comes out therefore you in fact some will remain definitely so that's just one application i didn't use two dips or anything now i'm just going to remove the setting powder and then of course we're going to do the usual steps which is the blush because we're still in the blush era so after doing blush uh we are also going to do highlighter and for blush i'm just going to use like a cool toned blush because i feel like this look is a bit too cool it's not yeah so i'm just gonna use like a cool toned blush look just some blush that i'm dabbing in with a brush and then afterwards i'm just going to use um another highlighter and the highlighter that i'm using is not my usual highlighter i know those who follow me know that i have a usual highlighter which is the nyx uh, our high glass illuminating powder but that's not it what i'm using is actually an eyeshadow that i just got off the palette because i wanted like something a bit cool and not warm because the hourglass that i the high glass that i use is really warm toned so guys i think we are through with the look and this is the final look after putting on a wig and making sure that i look a bit stylish some jewelry thrown on some glitters and sparkles and guys i love this look uh someone invite me to dinner because that i'm ready to serve yeah